Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Um, I do apologize in advance, you guys, for that echo um, here that you um, are hearing in the background. I am in my home office because um, today is Tuesday, January 31st, and we have some really bad weather here in North Texas. Um, the Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex area to be exact. So we have decided to keep our facility closed. Um, from what I'm seeing, um, as far as the weather updates, we're probably not going to be able to go back into the office until Friday. Um, and in some areas, probably even Monday. So we have a lot of um, sleet and ice. Um, icy conditions, so the roads are really bad right now, um, which this is par for the course when it comes to Texas. Every time around this time of the year, um, we just get really bad weather. So I'm super excited that I do have my office up and running so that when I do have to work from home, I have a comfortable area to work from. So, um, I do have a couple of things on my calendar. I have a couple of meetings um, scheduled and I'm going to get caught up on some intellect training um, that we have. But other than that, y'all, this dog just, he just busts in here like, like he got an appointment. He just comes in here, makes himself at home. Because one of my doors is just really easy to open. So, yeah. Gonna have to put him up though once I do have stop runs. Y'all, he's messing with my tripod. Once I do have my um meetings um that I have to attend, I'm gonna have to have him put up because I just cannot have him busting up in here and snorting and doing all that stuff and making all types of noise. But I just wanted to come on and open up the vlog and tell you guys welcome. Um, welcome back. Um, if this is your first time here, I hope that you um, would consider subscribing. I put out um, weekly vlogs in regards to lifestyle, home updates, at least once a week. Um, sometimes I try to shoot for, you know, two or three uploads during the week, but it just depends on what all I have going on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this workday started and see what the rest of the day brings. And I will check in with you guys here in just a bit. Look, you guys, this is what my neighborhood looks like currently. Look at all of that. The streets are entirely covered, and so is my driveway. So, like I said, weather here is really rough right now. It's pretty to look at, but definitely not going to get out in this mess, so... I just wanted to show y'all um, how much of the sleet and ice we're getting here in Texas. Hey y'all, so it is several days later. It is Saturday. Um, just got up, got dressed, um, about to go and um, run some errands, some much needed errands y'all, because how about I ended up working the entire week from home. So it was a total of four days that I worked from home. And y'all, ooh, this week felt like two weeks, like it was the longest week ever. Um, I didn't leave the house those entire four days and it was just, it was an absolute struggle. Like shout out to those that are good with working from home, like day in and day out because I'm not that girl. Um, because for me, um, I like to have a routine. I like to leave my oasis, go to work. And when I leave from work, I leave all of that energy there, right? And so this week while I was working at home, like we're just super busy. There's a lot going on and my energy was off because I was not able to separate the two, right? So work was combined with my home and stop runs, move. Y'all, he messed with the tripod. But work was combined with my, you know, with my home life, and I ain't like it. So um, everything is finally cleared out now, and um, we're about to go and restock on some much-needed items in the house. 
um, get out of the house because like I said, I'm about to go stir crazy just being in here um, and go ahead and take care of a few things. But while I was at home, I did have a chance to watch um, You People um, on Netflix and it was okay. I guess I expected more from it because it was such a star-studded cast and they just did a constant um, play into like the stereotypes. And to me, it was just like extreme overkill, but it was, it was just okay to me. I guess I was just expecting a little bit more, but yeah, so I did have a chance to check that out. What did you guys think about it? If you've seen it yet, um, it was just okay for me, but Enough rambling. I am about to go ahead and get out of here before the streets and everything get too crowded. I would imagine that the stores are going to be pretty packed today since everybody's been stuck in the house for the most part. So we are about to get out of here and get this Saturday started. All right, y'all. We have made it to our first destination. Good old Target. Y'all know this is my absolute favorite store. It's been about probably about two weeks since I've been in here. So I like to come here because of course they have everything that I could want and also things I don't need. So let's go see what they got. All right, y'all, next stop is the Dollar Tree. Me and mama, we getting pretty hungry. So it's gonna be lunchtime after this. As a matter of fact, I'm starving. So we'll go in here and stock up on our necessities. So y'all, our last stop at least me and mom's for today is wing stop. Ooh, child, I have been craving me some lemon pepper wings and I am finally about to get my fix. We may be the first uh, customers though, cause they open up at 11 and it's like 11.05 now. So got all of our goods and now we are about to feed our stomach. Go ahead, mommy. Yep, just like I thought. First one's here. Y'all, it has arrived. As you can see, we have our lemon pepper wings fried hard with our ranch and our, what are those, home style uh, fries, fresh fries. Y'all, the food was absolutely delicious. And we're in this plaza, so mama and I, we saw this new little cupcake store here it's called small cakes cupcakery and creamery so we figured we'd get us a little dessert smells good kind of remind me of um look at all these assortment of cupcakes hi which one do you think you would like mama they have a really good assortment. So let's see. Single cupcake is $4.25. That's not bad. I'm such a plain Jane. I think I'm just going to stick with the um, vanilla and chocolate cupcake. It does. The best one. Yes, like the that's great. right. Such a classic. Yes. Okay, I'll take one of those. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> this wedding cake one looks good too, but we just had something like that similar at Bunt Cake. Yeah, such a cute little, little space. Let's see what mama picks out. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that one does look good. And so they're baked fresh every day? Yes. Okay. And they have the little Valentine's decorations up there. Okay, guys. So I just made it home. And of course, I have to show you guys what I picked up from Target. So first things first, I always think about my baby anytime I go somewhere. And so um, I already opened it and gave him one. And y'all, he is just having the time of his life, okay? But I got him some of these dog bones. Um, it is the natural raw hide dog chews. And as you can see, it's a lot that comes in here. It was like a total of five. 
So I picked those up from my little Ryan C. Um, I needed some more Nexium. This is a stable staple that I keep. Um, I deal with you know acid reflux and heartburn and all that stuff. Um, definitely could not walk up out of there without grabbing me two bottles of wine. As you guys know, that Stella Rosa is my main girl and um the black is my favorite but i also like to try the other ones so i got these two bottles i picked up my favorite snack this is my favorite type of like trail mix snack mix um the gardettos and i like it in the original flavor um i love these they are so good such a good snack my mom grabbed these Kettle cooked Parmesan garlic chips. We looked for the bigger bag, but we did not find them. So she had to settle for these smaller bags. They didn't have them in this flavor and it's the Parmesan garlic uh, flavor. So they didn't have a big bag of that. I was completely out of my styrofoam cups. I like to have these in my little coffee station. So picked up those. I also like to have a good stash of my hair dye. I like to get the um, Peppercorn 11. It is the blackest black. And I always um, go with Garnier. And um, this one right here has really good stain power. So had to grab me some more of the hair dye. And y'all, I also needed some more feminine products. So I had to grab a pack of these. I'm down to my last pack of my flushable Charmin wipes. These are a staple as well. I keep these in my purse, one um, in my bathroom here at the house. So gotta have those. Was running low on my emergency. This time I decided to get the tangerine flavor. Just wanted to switch it up a little bit, uh, a little bit because I only have like maybe three or four packs left from the last 30 pack. Um, that I bought, so got those. I needed some oversized band-aids, so I picked those up. And then, um, you guys know I went to the Dollar Tree, so I like to get most of my snacks from there. And y'all, I love these ranch corn nuts. This is like a throwback childhood type of snack, but I grabbed those. I love me some corn nuts. And then, the other little snacks that I got from there um, is the Bit O Honey. I grabbed me some Tootsie Rolls and some Laffy Taffy. And as you can see, your girl is more of like a um, chewy type of candy type of person. I like chocolate, don't get me wrong, but um, with my indigestion and all of that, like chocolate sometimes flares that up and it hurts me, so I more so gravitate towards the chewy snacks. Um, like these Tootsie Rolls, of course, they're chocolate-based, but since it's not pure chocolate, they don't hurt me, so I like to have those. And y'all, I have been looking for something to go on my coffee table, like for the longest, and I haven't been like searching high and low like I normally would, I would just, you know, go on Amazon or look at other influencers, and if something stood out, I was like, okay, I'll check that out. But while I was in Target, you guys, I saw this gorgeous, gorgeous vase. And it does have a few little imperfections, but I can pretty much wipe those down. So it was just this one and another one that was left on the shelf, but the other one was in even worse condition than this one. So this one isn't, you know, terrible or anything like that, but I did see a few little imperfections. So this vase is by Threshold and it was $35. So I'm gonna play with this and see what it looks like on the coffee table and see if I like it. Of course, I kept my receipt just in case I need to take it back, but I really love the size of it. And I love the fact that it doesn't have that gloss finish. It looks like it right now because the light is bouncing off of it but it is a matte clay looking finish type of vase. So um, I'm gonna try this out on my coffee table to see how I like it. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share with you guys all the things that I picked up from Target and the Dollar Tree. And so now 
Um, I'm in for good today. I do have an appointment in the morning, which I'll tell you guys about here. I'm pretty excited. Um, but I am probably going to get comfortable and relax and watch. I think it's called The Reading, and it has Monique in it, and it's directed by Lee Daniels. I'm so happy that they mended their relationship and that they made up because um, she's one of my favorite actresses, comedians, and of course he does really good work as well. So I'm happy to see that they got back to a place to where they could, you know, make magic again together. So I am going to probably fix me some wine, okay, and relax and watch that movie. So I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So I'll check in with you guys here in just a bit. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, February the 5th. Um, I've been up since early this morning. I did a deep clean on the bathroom. Just got my shower, just got dressed because I have an appointment this morning. So um, I'm about to head out to get my ombre eyebrow six week touch up um, because my brows are fully healed. And today is the day for me to go and get my touch up. I'm super excited about that um, because once that heals, I won't have to go back for another two years. So I wanted to come on and show you guys um, the before brows before I go and get um, the touch up. So this is what they're looking like. And I'm, I'm in my bathroom because I wanted to give you guys really good lighting. But so that's my left brow. That's my, um, my right brow. To me, the right brow has a better look and so I think most of the touch up is gonna be over here. She's gonna to touch both of them up, but this is the one that needs the most work um, done to it. So super excited for this appointment. I am running a little bit late, so let me get out of here and I will be back on to show you guys um, the finished results after the touch up. All right, y'all, so I made it back home. And as you can see, the brows have been filled and she said that my eyebrows, they healed really well, um, didn't have any issues. They were nice and soft like um, they should be. And um, she also agreed with me as far as the um, left brow, um, saying that that was the one that she was going to need to give the most attention. But um, she went in and she um, extended my tails just a little bit, just very slightly. But give you guys a close up. I love, I love the way that they look. And she also said that she went in um, a little bit darker so that um, once they are completely healed, they'll probably lighten up by like maybe 30%. And I was completely fine with that because um, I like for them to be um, a deep, a deep brow color. So um, that was perfect. It probably took me about um, close to two hours for her to um, do my touch up. And um, the touch up was 190. She said that I do not have to come back and see her again um, until like another year, which is completely fine. I mean, for me to have my brows and only have to go once a year as far as maintenance is concerned, to me is a huge win. And I would completely do that, um, do this process all over again. So um, I highly recommend it. I will have to go through the same exact healing process that I did the exact last time. So she gave me my little packet that had the spoolie, the cream, and then the card that has all of her information. And on the back of the card, it has, um, you know, instructions on how to care for your brows as they're healing. But this time I don't feel, maybe too because I'm used to them now, but I don't feel like they are as just, you know, as aggressive as they were the first time. The first time I was just like really taken aback. But I think since I've gotten used to them, I don't feel that anymore. Now, y'all, let's talk about the pain level. I did feel like this time um, the pain level was a little bit more intense. The last time I gave it a grade of like uh, a five, five and a half. This time to me... It was more so like a six and a half to a seven. 
So the pain was a little bit more intense. Again, not something that I couldn't, um, you know, get past, but I felt myself tensing up a lot. And I was, I kept trying to tell myself just to relax um, because she would do a couple of passes. Then she would take a break, wipe them down, do a few more passes. So it's not like she was just going into my brows hardcore, you know, the entire time. I was able to get breaks in between time. But yeah, it, it was, the pain was a little bit more intense. But again, I highly recommend it. And I love the way that they turned out. I like the shape. Um, I think that she mapped, mapped them really beautifully. So if you are in the Dallas Metroplex area, she's in Richardson is where she's located. But if you're looking for um, a brow technician, I highly, highly recommend her. She is Brow Lingo on um, Instagram, so look her up. She does a really, really good job and her customer service is on point. She was there right on time, so was I. She took me right away. Um, her area is clean. Um, I felt at ease. I really like her spirit. So yeah, you guys, so let the healing process begin. But y'all, so last night I did watch the a movie called The Reading. It's it's on BET Plus is the network that is being shown, but it um, starred Monique and it was a Lee Daniels film. Y'all, I highly recommend this movie. It was a trip. And I will tell you guys without any spoilers, but it is definitely a plot twist to this movie. So it was good. Me and my mama was tripping, y'all, the whole time that we was watching it. But it was really good. And I'm so happy that I have BET Plus now because, y'all, after we watched the movie, we went on ahead and started watching, what is that called? All the Queen's Men with Eva Marcel. Um, yo, <laughs> that show is everything. I've heard nothing but good things about it. And being on that it was a Tyler Perry um, series, I was kind of like dragging my feet with it because number one, I did not have BET Plus. So I signed up for the subscription, but there are several things that I want to see on that network. Like there's just so much. But in regards to that show, y'all, it was just, each episode was so good and it started out, you know, even in episode one, it just started out like on this whole roller coaster ride and it's just so good. And honey, when I tell you that Miss Eva plays the part of Miss Madam, honey, she is giving the people exactly what they want. I absolutely am enjoying that series. So I binge watched it last night. I didn't go to sleep till probably like about 11, 1130. And that's late for me. Because even on the weekends, I'm normally in the bed, like anywhere between 9 and 9.30 and actually asleep. But like I said, this show is really, it really um, kept my attention. So I binge watched it and I left off on episode 9. So I highly recommend that. But like I said, there's a couple of shows on BET Plus that I want to check out. So I'm happy that I do have the subscription now. Um, because for me, my limit is three subscriptions max. Um, I don't have cable, which I'm probably not going to get cable anytime soon. Um, because I, I just don't watch TV like that. And so the three subs subscriptions that I have is uh, Netflix, of course. I have Prime and now I have BET Plus. But in order for me to get something else, one of those would have to go. So that's, that's just how I keep it balanced out because if you're constantly getting all these subscriptions and even though they don't cost a whole lot, but if you get like seven to eight, like they really do start to add up. And so that's just how I kind of keep myself in check when it comes to um, all of my subscriptions. But um, so I am home now. I'm going to go ahead and um, finish washing clothes for the week, um, get my clothes ready for the work week and um, vacuum my room. My mom made brunch. I've already cleaned up the kitchen, so we're good to go there. I already washed the linen and stuff on our beds, um, made my bed. So um, I just have a few little odds and ends that I need to get done. And then I plan on being um, nice and relaxed to enjoy the rest of my Sunday. 
um, probably no later than five o'clock. That's my goal. Um, like I said, I got up early this morning and I did a deep clean of all the bathrooms. So we're good there. But um, but yeah, I've been running all day, y'all. So it's going to feel good to sit down and relax. So, um, so yeah, you guys, this is going to be uh, the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I try to put out at least one video a week. And what I'm feeling like my cadence is so far is that I will be uploading at least every Sunday. And if I um, have enough content to put out, then there may be an additional video, you know, throughout the week. So again, thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you guys in the next one.